why is Life Weaver's pick rate still horrible? Now, when Life Weaver released, he was a bit of a mixed bag upon conception. I would even argue more so of the point where people actually we're not looking forward to this character. Upon looking at the gameplay reveal of Life Weaver, people had some very, very, very big concerns concerning the character, and almost all of those came to fruition when he released. Now, we are almost two months later with the release of Life Weaver, about two and a half now at this point, actually. And how is his pick rate? How is the character being received by the community? Uh, it, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> In competitive, Life Weaver has a pick rate of 1.55% in Diamond, he has a pick rate of 1.34% in Masters, and in Grand Master, Life Weaver has a pick rate of 1.05%. So, why is it still so low? Uh, short, simple answer, he plays like shit. <laughs> But if we are going deeper into this and actually analyzing it, it's for a myriad of reasons. What are some of the reasons that you can think of that Mercy's pick rate is so high? Just thinking off the top of my head, I would say ease of use and easy tech. When I say tech, I mean things that are able to shift the tides of a battle, things that are able to help your team, things that are a little more intricate gameplay wise. That's what I mean. For Mercy, you can pocket a DPS or a tank, and if they're decent at all, you can reap some pretty good rewards from that. One of Mercy's biggest piece of tech though is her res, being able to take someone that was down on the battlefield and get them back up in a fight. That is a pretty, pretty, pretty big part of her kit. It's it's almost integral to her kit. Damage boost is also part of Mercy's kit, not just healing, but being able to amplify damage to a DPS or a tank, making them put output much more damage and win these team fights faster if they're accurate. Why is Ana's pick rate through the roof? Also for reference, by the way, in Grandmaster, Ana has a pick rate of 20.64%, and Mercy's right below her with 13.03%. Ana has the ability to put out decent to pretty good damage, as well as Antinade and Sleep. Antinade and Sleep are two massive pieces of tech in Ana's kit, Antinade being able to heal your teammates and let them receive more healing, as well as preventing healing from any Owen on the opposite team should they get hit by it. If you are accurate with your sleep, you can shut down team fights before they even start. If Orion's charging in, if a Sigma's ulting, if a Roadhog's ulting, if, if anyone even looks at you funny, you can just sleep, 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 sleep. Ana also has incredible dual potential because she can, she can go hit scan and then also go non hit scan if anyone's close or what have you. Mercy, not as much when it comes to duels, but the thing about Mercy is she's so thin and her frame is so thin, it can be really hard to hit her. Okay, let's look at Kiriko. Kiriko on release was still pretty busted and, and Kiriko is still very good, but What's the biggest part of her kit? It's that Suzu, the ability to take off Ana's biggest part of her kit, take it off and keep people in the fight, as well as being able to teleport in case she's ever in trouble. And Kiriko's damage can get pretty high if you are accurate with her, unlike me, because I'm pretty ass at Kiriko. Also, her ultimate is very, very, very good as well. Being able to not just provide tech for one person, but the entire team, should they get caught in her ultimate, she gets a speed boost. Now, when we look at Life Weaver, what kind of tech does he have? Life Weaver has his pull, and I it's it's not enough, quite frankly. It's not enough. When it came to Life Weaver's pull, when it was revealed, a lot of people, including myself, had very drastic opinions on it. And even still, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of it. With Life Weaver's pull, you can pull an enemy towards you, and is actually in a patch recently able to heal you just a little bit as well. But that's really the only piece of tech Life Weaver has aside from his ultimate. His ultimate is decent. It's not fantastic, but it's still pretty good. Life Weaver's ultimate being the Tree of Life, where it sends out a pulse of healing, which is a little slower, and I start to feel it really in higher level lobbies, but it's still pretty good, and especially for like payload or something like that, it actually block fields of view. Uh, the tree's health is pretty good, but it's just the fact that the healing is a little slower is the issue. Now with the pull of Life Weaver, the problem is that a lot of people felt, mainly dive tanks, is that they're not able to properly work out of fear of a bad Life Weaver not giving them room to breathe. If a life weaver on your team thinks that you're throwing or that you're not be able to handle that duel, they'll just pull you out of it and they feel like you're just wasting time at that point. They had to make changes to Reinhardt's ultimate strictly because of Life Weaver's pull and how it interacted with them it was actually pretty interesting. One big thing for myself is Life Weaver's damage. Life Weaver's damage is absolutely abysmal. I don't realistically see how you could win a duel with 
anyone as life weaver <laughs> unless you were to get the drop on them if you were to get if you were to shoot something from behind sure but if we look at a support like zenyatta look at support like baptiste anna kiriko and moira what is a life weaver gonna do in a duel against someone like a cassidy and ash somebody because his projectiles are so slow and even then when they connect they don't do as much damage close up now, Ramatra has a similar thing with his projectiles, but the Ramatra shoots his projectiles so fast, and Ramatra can also get up close to people and beat them. It's it's easy. With Life Weaver, it's not. It doesn't feel like that. With Life Weaver, it feels like every little pedal that he shoots is so puny. It feels like it does absolutely nothing. And again, I'm not a good Life Weaver by any means, <laughs> but even when I was playing him, I just felt like I was doing nothing. I felt like I was doing nothing but charging my heal all day. And that is another big issue with Life Weaver. The fact that you have to charge Life Weaver's heal feels really, 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 really bad. There were some instances where my tank would just have to stand still and just have me like look at them so I could just heal them. And it would take a drastic amount of time. It's not even like a Baptiste where you can just jump, do a bunch of things. You can still keep that heal and damage synergy going. No, 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 no. And not even like Zenyatta where you can just put the heal on and it's slow, but it just keeps going. No, you just have to sit there and just and just keep throwing it out and it really hurts i think a good quality of life change for life weaver is if his heal did not take away from his ammo i think that would be fair i think i don't think it would be game breaking or anything like that because he only charges up to 75 max so i don't think we're gonna run to an issue or anything where it's just like oh all these life weavers are heal botting because they're already doing it so what's the problem what's the what's the problem i consistently see life weavers with really low damage and i tried playing some life weaver i was like oh well i wonder why and it just feels impossible to do any damage of note again as a support main i know i'm supposed to support i know i need to be able to do both if i need to win a duel i need to be able to win a duel if i need to heal a teammate i know i'd be able to heal a teammate but i feel like i can't do half of what i need to do Part of the reason I love Zenyatta so much is Discord is absolutely fantastic. And I actually got a nerf recently, which I don't think I'll ever financially recover from. But Discord being able to apply 25% damage received to any target you choose is absolutely wild. It's great for tanks, it's great for DPS duels, all that. It's fantastic. And you can still put out crazy amounts of damage with Zenyatta's orbs as well. Lucio, even Lucio's healing isn't fantastic or great it's an area of effect it's constant and you have speed which is absolutely underutilized in lower ranks is a lot of people don't understand that if you want to win a team fight or something like that if you get that if you get to that objective quickly fast or whatever if you're rushing down somebody you need that speed that speed is integral and they also need to have lucio knows how to get in the mix harass a supporter too and then get out with life weaver man the 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 platform just doesn't feel like it does a lot I mean, yeah, sure, you put the platform down, it'll stop like a Doomfist from coming after you or something like that, but most of the time, if someone puts that platform down, they'll just look at you, stare at you, and shoot it, and just wait for you to come down. It feels like it does nothing. Even Life Weaver's dash feels absolutely useless because it only affects him. And you don't even get that far. I think you get like five meters or something like that. It does not feel like that dash does anything of note. I think it heal. I, I didn't pay attention. I think it heals like 40% or 60% of your health. I'm not entirely sure. But it does not feel like it does a whole lot. Life Weaver just feels so, so, so clunky to me. Honestly, every time I see a life weaver on our team, whenever I play the game, I always see people rolling their eyes. They'll please beg them to get off life weaver, as opposed to somebody like Baptiste, who I would argue is actually the best support in the game. Uh, and I can see arguments for others, but for me personally, I think Baptiste is just way too good for what he does. But I'd be willing to argue about Ana or possibly Mercy, depending on who you talk to. But these are some of the reasons why life weaver is so strange to me. As far as a bottom up rework, I would definitely love to see his pet. Uh, not be able to as far as a bottom-up rework goes I don't think that his healing should be able to be taken out of his ammo I think that his healing should need to go up to straight up just maybe like 90 or maybe 75 or take the charge away or something because the healing just does not feel like it does a whole lot especially with these high mobility characters it's fine I get what they were going for so say if there's a Genji on the team or a tracer and they're doing a whole bunch of crazy movement Life Weaver and Zen, yeah, they'll be able to heal him better, but for Life Weaver, it does not feel like that 75 heal that you do feels like it's worth a damn when we have all this CC and these characters that can just headshot you instantly and kill you. I'm mainly talking about Widow and Hanzo. Again, they just got nerfed, but like a character like Cass, 
I, if, you, if you're trying to support someone who's in a duel like that, I don't think that they're going to do that well. I'm sorry. Now, you compare that to Zenyatta, where the stream of healing is constant. It's lower, but it's constant. You don't have to worry about it as long as you're line of sight. That's pretty good. Even Moira. Moira is not really meta, and most higher level players kind of roll their eyes at Moira mains. But the thing about Moira is she still has crowd control in her pocket that's the biggest thing if someone if there's ever like a high mobility character or there's someone that's pushing up too high more can just hold down a trigger and she can kind of stop them in their tracks to just keep from going life Reaver doesn't have that life Reaver's damage is so negligible it doesn't matter what the fuck anyone else does honestly you could probably keep live weaver's ultimate the same and it wouldn't really matter but life weaver just needs some fundamental changes i i don't know what the team's gonna do with them we're probably gonna get maybe two more life weaver buffs but it, it, unless they actually change fundamentally how he works he's not he's not gonna be good really but yeah so that's just my opinion if you guys disagree make sure you let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think of life weaver how do you guys think life weaver compares to other supports why do you think life weaver needs needs buffs and yeah it's been boy if you guys thank you guys so much for joining me on this video make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe and yeah i will see you in the next video all right peace